Hello there and welcome back to another one of my quick vids. It's not so much an unboxing because I've been into this box already and if you see my Facebook page you'll know that this is a part of a gift from Mrs Retro Corner um, and I was quite excited to get this. Um, so yeah I say it's not, a, it's not an unboxing and it's not but just now and again you come across something and you're just that impressed by it that you, you need to say something you need to need to share this out so this is a pi 1541 hat it's a kit it's not just a hat it's a kit um it's sold on ebay here in the uk the ebay name is debbie page gav um i'll put links i'll put links down below but yeah when i unboxed this i was just seriously impressed um with with the content and the quality of this kit I looked about on eBay for, for quite a while, um, looking at various different sellers, and this one stood out, and I kind of got it on my on my watch list for, for quite a while. Um, so let's let's dig into the box and hopefully you'll see why why I'm I'm impressed with this. Um, so it's a kit, so there are several pieces. So it's a Pi 1541, so you will need a serial cable. For this to work with your Commodore computers and very kindly there is a serial cable in here um, brand new I'm assuming the seller has put that together themselves so yeah serial cable lovely um, a 16 gig micro SD card I have popped this into my computer uh, there's a fair amount of stuff on here I'm really very impressed um, there's the essentials to get your um, your you know this working and booted up with your Raspberry Pi I'm hoping to try and use this with a Pi 2 um, as I've not been using it for a little while I'm using my Pi 3 for emulation so hopefully I can make use of my Pi 2 it's recently come under support as I understand it um, through the project so yeah happy to have that that was that's really good there's a little bit like I say there's a little bit more on there than I, was, I first thought so that's that's really helpful I shall open this one next um, note, note the note the packaging. There we go. I will uh, I'll take this out and I'll show you. So you've got a uh, a little screw kit there to mount your Raspberry Pi with the with the little screws, and then uh, also the Pi hat with the uh, with the longer ones. Um, and also there's the there's the little screen um, for the Pi hat as well. Oh, blue! I've just realised. Lovely, excellent. Um, so uh, and that and that's that's in a little protective box so that doesn't get clobbered around or anything so that's actually really nice um so i'm i'm already impressed um and then i take this out as well and in the listing this says that this is free well, <laughs> I'm, I'm jumping i'm jumping the gun it says that the case is free let me let me just see if i can get this nice and close to the camera for you so you can see this it's a nice little logo there little commodore branding at the top let's uh let's go for a walk around the case so you've got the the usual um ethernet and usb port um there we go that's better um holes in the case there you've got the port for the serial you can see the pie hat in there <laughs> You've got usual power HDMI um, and then audio sort of and mix composite out. Um, and you've got the Pi Hat buttons there just sort of in a nice relief. Another Commodore logo on the bottom. Lovely, thank you. <laughs> um, you've got your holes to screw all together. And then of course you've got your micro SD um, sort of pop out there. I'm not entirely sure if the Pi will boot up normally with a with a Pi Hat installed i haven't had ex any experience of pi hats yet so this is brand new to me but i kind of guess if it does you can plug in your usb controllers because i'm old school i like plugging in controllers um you know your hdmi out there and you can probably just run the pi <laughs> still you know with the pi hat you probably wouldn't have to take it out or disconnect the uh, pi hat to run it or at least that's what i'm thinking but yeah the case it says in the listing is free and I'll, I'll come back to this, I'll come back to this uh, at some point in the future. Um, so I'll, I'll take this apart. I will, I'll just show you the packaging here. Okay, so it's nicely packaged. Um, that's the side that your 
that's the side that your pie is going to sit into and as you can see there it's got nice it's got nice can you see that can you see that now i don't know i need to address the lighting but you've got little bosses there that when you when you pop your pie down into this um then the little holes will locate over those uh over those screw bosses which is really nice it's a really good it's a really, you know there's some real thought put into the design of this case you will also note the thickness of this case now i can't imagine that it's, it's just one piece of plastic under here I'm, I'm assuming i'm assuming this is hollow but everything everything fits beautifully if i line everything up there there's enough space to put usb you know and the shoulder the shoulder of you of your usb um, devices that you're plugging in as well um it all seems to, it all seems to fit and line up really nicely so this is the this is the main event if i take that out carefully again nicely packaged so it's not going to rattle around again you've got that same sort of almost super thick looking case it's really rigid it's really sturdy this and I, I do love that finish that really does look really does look the business so yeah moving on to our to our pie hat nothing particularly special about the pie hat you, you've got the serial connector there um a buzzer so you can emulate i believe that switch on and offable and um, you can emulate the sound of the of the disc spinning up again a little bit of retro feels there um and then you've got the uh the standoff for your for the screen got the buttons to select etc activity and power not that you're going to get to see those i don't think maybe it will shine up through the uh through the through the openings um but yeah not much to it but again the soldering has got some really good attention to detail um, it's been done very cleanly and i'm i'm just super impressed um so i thought i thought i'd tell you guys so i've i've been kind of costing up roughly speaking how how much some of this might go for because i th i think you know i think mrs retro corner <laughs> um has done particularly well here so let's let's have a thing i i think it's probably a little high who knows but branded sd card 16 gig i had a quick look for toshiba ones i'd say five quid's about average um so five um brand new serial leads um tend to, to go somewhere in the region of about 12 pounds obviously you can buy the lead and the ends cheaper but hey it's it's all ready to rock i literally just need to screw my raspberry pi in i think so i think a case you know one of these one of these cheap and cheerful cases that, that just comes with well you know you just buy for the raspberry pi probably two or three pounds something a little nicer you might want to spend a bit more on um obviously this this case is bespoke you know it's a one-off um I don't know it's a bit hard to put a price on that to be honest but roughly speaking it wouldn't be out of the realms of imagination to spend about eight pounds on a pie case would it um and then of course these things just on their own can go for around 25 pounds um obviously some have double connectors um there's not too many more features that you can that you can pack onto these things but i, I think 25 pounds is, is pretty average for what's out there um so if you add that up that's around about 50 pounds if you were to go out and buy the bits together and put something together you can you can buy these in kit form you can buy them cheap you know put it together yourself i wouldn't have minded doing that but i thought this was such a bargain that i, I you know i'm quite quite happy to buy the bits and just, just whack it all together and have a working product this um on ebay just before christmas um was retailing at 23 pounds um, and four pounds postage and packing and i honestly don't think that you'll find something this sort of quality um all the bits that you need you literally just need your computer to plug it into and it's and it's all ready to go so i, I think that's i think that's outstanding value um, and i'm really looking forward to putting this in here plugging it all in taking you guys on the journey with me as well um and uh and using this very soon indeed but there you go that's that's my thoughts 
like I say, very good quality case. I'm very happy with that. Um, you've got your lead, your screen, pie hat. You've got a loaded card. You do, you do not get the Raspberry Pi. Let's remove that. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I don't think you can do better for the money, to be quite honest. If you're here in the UK and you're contemplating um, an emulated disk solution for your Commodore computers, yeah, I'd, I'd, recommend, I'd recommend looking here. Check for links down below in the description um, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.